Welcome to SickCast, brought to you by Sick Research Institute, illuminating every path. Good Fateh and welcome to the SickCast. This episode is part of our series, The Persian Voice in the Guru Granth Sahib. Our researcher, Asha Marie Kaur, will be taking a close look at a Shabbat by Guru Arjun Sahib to discuss its Persian influences. But before that, here is the Shabbat recited by Parminder Kaur Chanan. Satnam Vaheguru Sahib Ji Bairo Mahala Panjwa Khub 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 Tero Naam Jhoot 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 Duni Goman Khub 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 खूब तेरो नाम झूठ 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 दुनी गुमान रहाओ नगज तेरे बंदे दीदार अपार नाम बिना सब दुनिया छार अचरज तेरी कुदरत तेरे कदम सलाहा गनीब तेरी सिफत सच्चे पात सहा निधर आधर पन है खुदाए गरीब निवाज दिन रैन थे आए नानक को खुद खसम मेहरवान अल्लो न विसरे दिल जी परान नानक को खुद खसम मेहरवान अल्लो न विसरे दिल जी परान वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह Great is your Naam. This Shabbat, revealed in Rag Bairo by Guru Arjan Saib, showcases a significant amount of Persian vocabulary and terminology. In order to highlight the Persian voice as crafted by Guru Arjan Saib, the words stemming from Persian influence will be elaborated on in particular. Guru Arjan Saib begins by setting a simple orientation for us but one that leads to an all-encompassing realization. He repeats hub, meaning good in Persian, or in certain contexts, beautiful or great, five times. It is the nam that is hub. To capture the essence of this statement, one must take notice of the full meaning of nam. The word nam indeed comes from the common Indo-European word for name. But Nam holds more than name in its meaning. We all have names as signifiers and means of identification, as a way to command and direct attention towards ourselves and others. A name provides an anchor by which we orient our interactions. So when it comes to the Nam of Ikonkar, of oneness, of the ultimate being, Nam becomes the ultimate signifier. It is the anchor by which we can orient every single interaction, no matter who or what we are engaging with. For there is nothing that exists outside of the structure of Ikonkar. To live in the orientation of Nam becomes an experience that guides all interaction with oneness, one that is chosen and done with intention. Nam describes the act of re-anchoring ourselves in the vastness and existing beyond the confines of our ego. To practice the principled orientation of Nam is a choice and must be done with intention. 
for the world is filled with other tempting and misleading paths. Many of these paths are inherently illusory and fleeting in nature, but the ego won't tell us this. Guru Arjan Sahib repeats Jut, meaning false, five times in the next line. It is the dunya, or worldly, guman, pride, that is false. Guman in Persian means belief. Oftentimes, people's beliefs come out of the impulsive reactions of ego, rather than careful contemplation. Unlike Nam, Guman is illusory, fleeting, and unsatisfactory. Moreover, because each person's ego is selfish by nature, people's competing Guman are often contradictory as well. There is no peace found when one becomes attached to a system of beliefs that is rooted in competition, self-gain, and division. These are the types of illusions that distract from the reality of oneness. The only acceptable example of servitude to a master in the Sikh paradigm is servitude toward Ikonkar. And for that reason, humans are often referred to as Bande or servant in Gurbani. To break through the illusions that trap us in selfish action is to bear witness through didar, or the act of seeing the ultimate being. This is described as nagaj, stemming from the Persian word nags, or marvelous. Without Nam, the world is ash, it is dark. To restore a feeling of wonder in the world, one can look to the creation power, or kudrat, of oneness. The sifat, or praise of oneness, is ganiv, stemming from gani, meaning rich or priceless. Sifat in Arabic and Persian simply means attribute, but holds a double meaning of praise for when one is marveling at divine attributes. There's no way to be aware of them, of the attributes of the eternal sovereign of the Pacha, without being in an act of praise. Guru Arjan Sai provides another orientation for our actions, a call to be creator-like. He reminds us that Khuda, or the creator, is the pana or support of the unsupported. To live in divine actions, we must remember the ultimate being that always cherishes, or Navaj, which is a form of Navaz, the Garib. Garib holds a double meaning. In Hindi, Urdu, and Punjabi usage, this word means poor, but in Persian usage, it means someone who is a stranger, alone or alienated. Ultimately, these are not diverging meanings, for in our societies plagued with injustice, those with privilege often selfishly find it too difficult to sit with, care for, and live alongside the poor. And as such, the less fortunate become socially alienated as well. This alienation is an attempt by the privileged to soothe their cognitive dissonance in seeing the condition of the lesser, an act of separation that is unfounded in the qualities of Ikonkar. Ikonkar, the one, the master, is never afraid to be compassionate or mihrvan. We are truly living as long as we keep a steady remembrance of the source of creation, here referred to as Allah, and live with the knowledge that oneness resides in our mind, being, and breath. Please consider becoming a donor. It's with the help from our audiences that the team at Sikri is able to continue exploring Sikh knowledge and illuminating the voices in the community. Or consider becoming a supporter of the SickCast by clicking on support on our anchor.fm page. However, this podcast is free to all. So if you do like the show, tell some of your friends and family about us. You are listening to SickCast by Sick Research Institute. Illuminating every path.